this country saying probably they've got a two and a half inch chambered gun and they want you to lengthen the chambers. So if, if you do decide to lengthen the chambers, there's nothing to stop you doing it, but if you do decide to lengthen the chambers, you know, tell them that you don't accept any responsibility for doing if anything goes wrong. So check them and you see that this one this one was originally proof, proofed for two and a half inch and it's still two and a it's still two and a half inch. But if you get somebody come along and say Len, when I it's got two and a half inch chambers, length of the chambers to two and three quarter. You know, as I say, you might get them to, if you do it for them, uh, you might get them to sign a bit of paper saying that you you know you they accept the responsibility if anything goes wrong, because you know these people will shoot anything in a gun. If it'll go in, they'll shoot it. So be careful on that one. But the rules are, you see, in the in the UK, if you lengthen chambers of a gun, it invalidates the proof marks by just lengthening the chambers. There's a lot of things over there which invalidate proof marks. If you convert a gun to from non-ejector, in other words, an extractor gun, as you guys call it, to an ejector gun, and you enlarge the extractor leg hole, then that that that's that means reproof. It invalidates the proof marks because you what you've done by by enlarging the Extract a leg hole. You, what you've done is you've weakened the barrels. You see, you've got here's the lumps, and you've got the barrels here. Here's the barrels. Now this hole is just about here. Now, if you enlarge that hole, say from a lot of them are about. 3 sixteenths and you've enlarged it to a quarter what you've done you've in, you've in, you've weakened the metal through this corner here you've taken so because they had some guns crack through there after guns being enlarged having this hole enlarged they brought in a rule that in the rule that if you convert to ejector and open up that hole then it means reproof. Now, if another thing too, you know, over there under on the old under the old rules of proof, if you enlarge the bore more than thousands point oh one oh above what it was proved at, it invalidates the proof marks again. It's called out of proof. And it becomes an offence to sell it. You cannot sell it. Even a private individual can't sell a gun that's enlarged and out of proof. And if a dealer does it and gets caught, he can, he, he can well, even an individual can get a fine. I think it's uh, it's a thousand pounds a barrel, which is two thousand bucks a barrel. So, and now you see they've gone metric on proof marks. This one's got some metric proof on it. So what they've done, they've changed, changed because it's point, they allow point oh two of a millimeter. Oh two of a millimeter, which is oh oh eight thousandths. It's eight thousandths now in, in the UK, like the rest of Europe. So we we can do that here. We can we can enlarge a barrel as as big, large as you like. It doesn't matter because there's no rules, you see. But on the other hand, you see, we can, we should have rules to protect us, but we haven't got any. So if you if somebody comes in and and you you tell him his and his barrels have been enlarged or it's it's very thin, tell him it's unsafe. You see? 
they'd probably laugh at you and say, I've shot that gun for years, I, you know, you're crazy. But again, you know, you never know. It might be the next, next shot that they fire up there. But always put the big umbrella up, cover yourself, you know, before you do any altering the barrels.